It's not every day of the week you get up close and personal with a man-eating tiger. And it's rarer still to take one for a walk. I feel like I've got a personal stake in this yeah, question. Yeah, what does he normally eat? <laughs> normally eat dog food. Dog food? Dog food, yeah. That's reassuring. Yeah. I may have the leash, but my charge is definitely calling the shots. He's the first one. He thinks he's the bot now. He's the bot? Yeah, he can control every, every tiger. Meet Abbot Pusi. He's part Buddhist monk, part Tarzan, lord of the jungle. Undisputed master of his domain. A temple come tiger sanctuary, three hours drive north of Bangkok. He's my friend, yeah? He likes to, he likes to, to suck my thumb very much, yeah? <laughs> he sucks your thumb? Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's the ultimate party trick performed to prove the abbot's yeah? surprising like contention baby. that these tigers have overcome their natural instincts and adopted peaceful Buddhist ways. I was born in... 1st of January 1951. Year of the tiger? Yeah, the year of the tiger. <laughs> Almost all Thais believe in reincarnation. In this case, the abbot believes Storm and his playmate Thunder were once monks. How can he be so sure? Well, it's simple, really. Like Dr. Doolittle, he talks to the animals. <laughs> the abbot and his followers are known in Thailand as forest monks. They venture into settlements in the early morning for traditional arms rounds, seeking food and donations, but home is in the hills. The monks set up their bush temple five years ago. It was meant to be a sanctuary for peaceful meditation. Instead, it's become an accidental sanctuary for an endangered species, the Indo-Chinese tiger. family that lives together, shops together. It's routine for a tiger cub to come along for the ride when the abbot makes a trip to the food market. Although that's not what you'd think from witnessing the fuss this trip caused. While they might be obedient Buddhists, it seems the tigers are yet to get a taste for a vegetarian lifestyle. Chicken is on the menu every day of the week. <laughs> so you're putting the tiger in with the food? Yeah. Is that yeah, yeah. risky? Yeah. No, 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 never mind. He might eat it all. No, no. He's scared of uh, the bag. Scared of the bag? Yes. Scared of the bag. Not so you'd notice. <laughs> Back at the sanctuary, the abbot keeps the star attractions at a distance from the rest of the family. He knows that life in a cage is cruel, but life outside is crueler still. The tiger's forest habitat is dwindling, and poachers who hunt and kill the animals for their highly valuable skin and bones prey upon them. Returning to the wild is out of the question. So the abbot has come up with the next best thing. We would like to do the island. So we dig in the ground and to do like a moat is a big handle. Okay. We Dr. Somchai is in charge of a project to create a moat around a vast area of the temple grounds, creating an island sanctuary for the tigers to roam free. We would like to set up this uh, like a tiger rescue center and tiger research center and uh, for the ecotourism. It's thought there are fewer than 500 of the species left in Asia. Their survival may come to depend on a helping hand from humans and a little faith. <laughs>